Welcome back to Minute Med. In this video, we are going to talk about fatty liver disease. Here is something you might not know about weight gain. Weight gain causes fat to deposit within your organs, including your liver. When this happens, it's called fatty liver disease. There aren't any symptoms at first, but it is actually the second most common cause of liver cancer. It will very soon be number one. About a third of the population has fatty liver disease, including up to 6 million children. Obesity is one of the main causes of fatty liver disease. It's a metabolic disease where fat gets stored and produced in liver cells. The problem is this develops a cascade of inflammation in the liver. The extra fat cells put stress on the liver which makes it swell. Eventually, many of these liver cells die and the new cells will be built. But these new cells will contain fat, continuing to overburden the liver and as a result, scar tissue will develop in the liver. This is known as cirrhosis, which is caused by long-term liver damage. The scar tissue prevents the liver from working properly. This is a huge problem as the fat-filled hepatocytes or the liver cells burst and release their enzymes into the bloodstream. That's why we see elevated levels of enzymes in the bloodstream like ALT and AST. So what can you do about it? Can you reverse fatty liver? Of course you can. You are what you eat. A poor diet is the main cause of fatty liver disease. When it comes to fatty liver disease, processed carbs, sugar, high fructose soft drinks and alcohol are not your friend. The official name of fatty liver disease is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This just implies that the person is not an alcoholic, but remember that alcohol can still contribute to the condition. Another main cause of fatty liver disease is insulin resistance. Insulin is the hormone which your pancreas makes, which tells your body cells to take up excess blood sugar. The problem in insulin resistance is that the body cells are ignoring the insulin, so pancreas has to produce higher levels of insulin. Insulin triggers fat storage throughout your body including your liver cells which can ultimately lead to fatty liver. So atypically, patients with fatty liver will have elevated ALT, AST enzymes as well as elevated fasting insulin levels. Finally, these patients will have high cholesterol especially triglycerides. Fatty liver is a treatable and reversible condition, but once your liver gets cirrhosis or scar tissue, there is no going back. You definitely want to avoid cirrhosis, which is the end stage liver disease where your liver cannot perform the normal functions. That is all. Thank you for watching. Show us your support on Patreon, subscribe for similar content and click that bell icon. Don't forget to check out this playlist and follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram to stay tuned. Minute Med, where medicine is made fun.